Another thing Roam is surprisingly good for is managing recipes. So if you're enjoying the quarantine and trying to cook more and want to keep track of everything you're cooking and record ideas, it's actually a pretty powerful and simple way of doing that. So I'm going to show you an example here uh, and then show you a little bit about why that's so powerful. So uh, this is a recipe I made over the weekend that I thought was really, really great. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I would save it in my Roam database. Okay, so first we'll just go to my daily notes and we'll make a new page for it. It's just going to be easier to just copy the title. I wish it wasn't in all caps, but we'll fix that later. And then in here, I've got a new text expander for recipes. So it's just XRMR. And this will let us fill it out. So for the tags, I'm going to add a couple of the main ingredients. So we'll add skirt steak. You know, this page accidentally got created. I'll have to delete that later. That's just, I'm just going to add that as the main ingredient. And then for the ingredients, we can go here and we'll just copy this. And I'm going to put these on their own lines. The, so you can do it two different ways. You could put it all in one line. And the benefit of that is that the queries will be a little more powerful. Uh, and that's kind of like one kind of frustration with the query component right now is that you can't query stuff on multiple lines. I'll show you why that matters later. But by doing this, it's a lot more visually pleasing uh, and a lot easier to read when you're actually trying to cook. So to me, this is totally fine. This is how I'm personally doing it. But you could just do it all in one line if you want to make it a little more searchable. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to link all of these. Change some of these where uh, there are better ingredients we can use or where I know stuff works. And that. All right, cool. And then tools. It looks like the only tool we really need is a casserole dish. And then I like to keep the source of recipes, so I'll take that and I'll put it in here. And then below this, uh, you can start writing out the instructions. One thing I'll add just to make it more visually pleasing is a horizontal line, just to visually break it up a little bit. And then got the instructions. Copy that. And then you're good to go. So now, uh, if you ever want to come back and cook this skirt steak, uh, you've got it right here. What I might do is uh, go through and like reorganize this a little bit to make it easier to read, right? Uh, or you know any modifications that I make to it, I can add in here. And then you know I might make a note that on April fifth, fourth, I made it. Um, just that I have that recorded too. But where this gets uh, more interesting is when you want to cook something. So if you go to your ingredients page, you can write a query for uh, any page that has the word or the tags ingredients and whatever else you want. So I had the rice query in here. And so here's this risotto recipe that I made over the weekend, right? So if I was looking for that, I could always come in and find it. Or uh, now if I go in and change this query, I can change it to skirt skirt steak. And now we've got this recipe right here. All right, so this is kind of like fun because now if you say, okay, you know, I've got these, uh, I don't know, artichokes, like what should I do with them? Show me all my recipes with artichokes, boom, like right there, all right? So if you start recording all your recipes in this way, one, they're gonna be pretty easy to read. Like I, I find this very visually pleasing and pretty simple to follow. And you can bring it up on an iPad or whatever as well. Uh, and it's gonna be super, super easy to search through whenever you want to find something to cook based on whatever ingredients you have. Uh, you could also add other things like, uh, you know, paleo, this obviously isn't paleo, but uh, certain dietary restrictions, if you wanna add it. One thing that's nice about this is that it is gluten-free. So now if I wanted to, I could say, go to my recipes and I could make a query, right? Uh, and recipes gluten-free. If I had a gluten-free friend coming over and say, oh, okay, cool. Like my entire risotto would be a good one to make. Uh, so the more you can tag and tag the ingredients, uh, the more functionality you're gonna have for finding your recipes later. Enjoy.